Look, this episode I hear money for anybody listen. Look at money for you, 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 and you too. Yeah. Look, this episode, look, go get your mama and your cousin and your grandpapa in there. Look, get your business partner. Could you do that? Come through, get your collaborator. Get whoever you truly love this episode. And tell them to sit down and watch this. Because today we fitting to talk income stretching. Look, and I'm not talking about like, look, we going to stretch our check to our next check. And we going to eat bread and water. Look, until we get paid again. No, I'm talking we going to take the check we just got. Look, and stretch it and get poof. New money this episode. Okay, let's go. You talk money. I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. What? You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. Hey, hey, I'm your host, Samara Bubble, a.k.a. the I Hear Money Coach. Look, a.k.a. your favorite sync superstar. Look, a.k.a. the income stretching coach. Look, this episode, a.k.a. I hear you stretching big money. Yeah. Look, a.k.a. we finna take a check and look, make a whole nother check out of it. Yeah, I love this episode. I'm so excited to present this episode to you. Matter of fact, <laughs> yeah, look. Could we talk about the fact that it's subscribe time? Look, a little bit past skin 30. And all I need from you this episode is a five-star review. Look, if you love income stretching, go ahead and look. Make it clear. Go ahead and look. Share the episode. Look, if you get through this episode and your mind is blown, go ahead and do me a favor. Do me this real quick. Go ahead and hit me up with the five-star review. Look, pick your poison. Look. Apple Podcasts, look, Spotify Podcasts, look, come right here to YouTube. You can drop five stars in the comments. I take that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what I need you to do for me this episode, look, like, share, comment, just look, invite somebody. They could use a couple of dollars. And look, they know dollars don't grow on trees. But look, can they do you? You can stretch out and get you some new ones. Can Look, can you reach out here and look, pull out, pull down a new dollar? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, look, that's what we finna learn this episode. Now, before we get into it, can I tell you the goals of this podcast? Because I, I didn't create this podcast and to just to be out here income stretching. But it does apply to one of these goals. So I'm going to tell you all four of them. Goal number one is to save you money in your sink business look, if you don't got a business i need you to visit that sponsor for me and get start your sync biz now that's all i'm gonna say about that we talking income stretching this episode you should have already had a business but anyway goal number two is to make more money in music licensing and look this is where the income stretching look this is where income stretching applies today we finna learn how to make look take your sync money and go ahead and make some more money with it yeah, but this episode is not just for my sync people. Can I tell you this episode is for the music buyers too? Look, can I tell you this episode is for anybody that gets some kind of check in? Look, if you get a lump sum payment, come see me about it. I'm going to show you how to stretch that money. Okay. Goal number three is to transform your mindset. Look, I do it daily. Look, I do it regularly. Can I tell you, we be out here transforming minds. And look, and goal number four, we be out here activating superstars. Look, we're not playing with these people. I just look. I'm surrounded by superstars and I love it here. Anyway, uh, I would like to introduce you to the sponsor. But look, sponsor gone wild this episode. Can I tell you, they done took over the whole episode. And they finna present to you the income stretches. And this is what I love. So shout out to Sync Superstar Academy. Visit SyncSuperstar.com if you want to know more about income stretching and if you want to get out here and get to stretching your money. Okay, this episode, I ain't even going to give you no disclaimer. We finna get right up in this because the presentation going to cover it. So without further ado, could we get up in this episode? Oh, hello. I do got a disclaimer in this episode. Look, could you do me a favor and don't get up in this episode and start looking around like, ew, why she talking like that? Because can I tell you, look, this podcast is for edutainment purposes. Okay, we might laugh and kiki and learn about, look, how to get to this money and music licensing on this podcast. But look, when I do actual teaching, look, when I do actual coaching, for real for real look could we could we stop joking did you stop giggling and get to this money so let me, when we're talking about money for real look when we out here getting to it we're not playing no more can we stop playing around okay so don't look around like okay why she talking like that different ew look could, could we look i got i don't want got serious on you so we could get to this money 
Oh, and one more disclaimer. I feel like you would enjoy this episode better because we about to go up in a full blown presentation. Do me a favor. Look, if you listening to the audio, that's cute or whatever, but can I tell you? Look, there's actual a visual presentation. Look, my slides are cute and I want you to see it. So could you come to this YouTube real quick? Look, become a subscriber. Look, like, share, comment, hit the bell, ding dong, turn on notifications. Okay. And just watch this episode. Even if you listen to all the other ones on your platform of choice, watch this one on youtube so you can see that presentation because look i made the slides and i love them anyway if you cool with that could we go ahead bubble on that you talk money i can hear you i hear money Welcome to Income Stretch. Today, we're going to cover how to turn a paycheck into financial freedom. It's an advanced investment strategy made simple. Okay, quick disclaimer. This presentation was created for educational purposes only and cannot be considered legal, business, tax, investment, or financial planning advice. You, as an investor, implement the income stretching strategy at your own risk. What is income stretching? Income stretching in its purest form extends the life of your money Plus, it expands the dollar value of it, too. Okay, so income stretching is like having your cake and eating it, too, in five simple steps. When you think of income stretching, I would like you all to think of it as like, I don't know if you guys remember that. It's kind of an annoying commercial, J.G. Wentworth, but in reverse. So in that commercial, they will always be singing in like opera mode. I have a structured settlement, but I need cash now. So what J.G. Wentworth does is purchase annuities. Lottery winnings, because like if you win the lottery, if you play the lottery and you win, you get the option of either getting a lump sum payment or an annuity. Those structured settlements where you're getting steady income, some people just want to get the full amount. So they could take their, say you accepted the annual payments or the monthly payments or whatever payout you do for your lottery. Um, or if you have an annuity that you purchase, you could take those structured settlements to JG Wentworth and they will pay you a lump sum right now. You guys are all aware of the time value of money. so. If you have a large lump sum, it's going to be less than the amount if you were to get smaller payments over time. Just then that's simply due to the time value of money. All right. So income the opposite of that. The lump sum payment that you have and it's stretching it out over time. However, you get to keep the lump sum after you've done the stretching. This is what I love about income stretching. And so you can take any lump sum payment that you receive regardless of your career, regardless of how you get your money. Um, the best example I can think of is because I do music are think placements. Um, you can take tax refunds and in income stretch it. You can take severance pay if you get laid off. You can take employee bonuses and in income stretch it. Okay, so why income stretching? Three simple reasons. It's safe, simple, and effective. It's probably one of the best and safest investment strategies out here, period. Okay, so the reason why it's the safest approach, there are a million different ways to invest but the core issue with investing is has always been risk management. All right. So the risk of financial loss. Yes, you can invest and you can make money, but there's always that lingering risk. Right. There's always that elephant in the room that you can you can lose your shirt. Right. So if you do a business venture, over 90 percent of businesses fail within the first five years. OK. And even the ones that survive <laughs> might still fail later on. So with real estate, you guys know that there are plenty of times that tenants will not pay. OK. You you spend money flipping a house and you get somebody in there and they don't pay. Okay. Now they just start squatting on you. Or if there's moratoriums for God forbid, there's some kind of, um, worldwide emergency or airborne situation, or even with COVID, those moratoriums hurt people that have rental properties because they weren't allowed to kick people out during COVID. They had to wait until people could get back to work, get back to making money before they could evict non-paying tenants. Okay. And then especially even with retirement 401ks, you usually don't have control over the investment. It's not actively managed. If you wait decades to receive it or they're going to penalize you and tax you heavy um, for taking money that you've been putting aside for your retirement. And then there's tons of management fees involved in that. All right. And then even with the 401ks, you could still lose your shirt <laughs> if the economy crashes. All right. So income stretching offers full protection plus guaranteed pay. You know, I don't like to use that word guarantee because look. <laughs> Looking at you, guarantee is a, a dangerous word, but I'm going to explain what I mean to you by it. But if you follow the step by step strategy, you will get paid. That's why I can call it guarantee. All right. So what makes income stretching so safe? 
insurance. Well, that's the bottom line with, with all of this. If you do an investment, it's always a good thing to have asset protection, AKA insurance. All right. So I personally have a love and hate relationship with insurance. And here's why I'm a formerly licensed CPA. When I was still doing accounting full time, uh, I used to audit the world's largest public insurance companies. I'm talking about huge companies. Okay. Billions and billions, billions on billions on trillions of dollar industry. Um, I used to audit those public companies and what I um, took in from all of it was that, man, they're just making a lot of money on what if, on just in case. Like they make billions from charging a premium, that insurance premium, right? When you get an insurance policy, regardless of the type of policy, just think of all the insurance, think of all the money that you've spent on insurance in your life, whether it's home insurance, car insurance, phone insurance, <laughs> like boat insurance, Look, you can get, you can insure your hand. Um, when I tell you there's a policy for it, look, there's kidnapping insurance. Look, if you look, if you're a multimillionaire, they sometimes have to get kidnapping insurance on their children because people will steal people's kids. Look and, and look and try to call them for ransom. So you can get, you can get insurance for anything. Look, if there's a market for it, I'm trying to tell you there's somebody out there selling it. Life insurance, okay. There's all types of insurance, all right? But the thing that I want to stress to you is that all insurance charges monthly premiums or it could be annual premiums, but it's generally monthly premiums in case something goes wrong, right? So the art, <laughs> I call it an art, but the art of buying insurance is a guaranteed loss of that premium. Look, whether something goes wrong or not, if something does go wrong, it does insure, you know, the property, or the asset or whatever it is you're trying to protect, or it does entitle you to some form of payment and compensation for the loss that you've incurred. However, the premiums you pay is still, you're guaranteed to lose those. They don't pay you back the premiums when you file a claim. You just get the return of the value of whatever it is that you had covered, like depending on your coverage, all right? So whether or not you file a claim, it's a guaranteed loss of the premiums that you're paying out. Keep that in mind. And then on top of that, these insurance companies are very smart. They know that when they insure you and they start taking your premiums in on day one, they're not going to have to pay that out on day one. Well, usually when you get insurance, you typically don't need to file a claim the day after. Unless you out here killing somebody and you went and got a life insurance claim on, then you went and chop them up. Okay, if you go in and chopping up people and then file the claim the next day, usually the, the, the police are going to come knocking on your door. Okay, we'll see you on HLA. But anyway, they take uh, the insurance companies take all of these premiums that they receive on day one and they invest them over time because they know somebody's going to come later on down the line. Everybody that gets insurance is not going to have a loss. So the majority of people don't have a loss because they don't want their premiums to increase. Some people actually have a loss. And don't even file the claim because they don't want their premiums to increase. They don't want it to cost more next year to, to keep the insurance. And so that is the trippy thing with insurance. It's like to the buyer, to the user, to the average person, to you, because I know you have some form of insurance um, that you paid for. You've already lost those premiums, whether or not you file a claim. But they take those premiums, the companies, the insurance company then take those premiums. And they invest them in the stock market, in whatever uh, kind of safe investments, in, in bonds, and in whatever investments that they want to. And they make a whole nother set of income off of your money. It's called investment income. If you look at any public insurance um, financial statements, you're going to see a whole lot of money <laughs> in what they call investment income. And they keep that money, they keep that profit, and they pay out you know, the claims that come in. But if you notice, these insurance companies are profitable. So that means that they're taking in a whole lot more premiums than claims that they pay out. Okay. Usually the only time I've seen an insurance company suffer is when um, there's like some kind of catastrophe. And so hundreds of homes or thousands of homes are filing like home insurance or flood insurance or some kind of damage, some kind of a uh, catastrophic event. They had to pay out so many claims at once that they went bankrupt. That's a rare occasion. Um, most insurance companies are profitable. They're out here living, thriving and eating good off your premiums. Just know that. All right. So the goal with income stretching and I wanted to develop was a way to fully protect your investment so that you're not afraid to invest. So the thing is, we, we talked about risk management earlier. You're typically afraid to invest if there's a risk that you can lose your money. You're typically afraid to invest and you usually don't like to get insurance. You usually try to skimp on insurance. You usually try to leave insurance out because, you know, you're not getting those premiums back. So income stretching, and the reason why I consider it super safe is because it's an advanced investment strategy with perks. And these perks allow you to recover the cost of the insurance 
when you file a claim. So you're going to get your full asset back plus the full cost of the insurance. That is a game changer. Okay. And that takes the fear of the investment out of the way. Cause I know hey, if this don't work well and I'm not stretching the kind of money that I want to, I still get to get all my money back and just dip. But when I tell you, when you start stretching, you will get the money that you want and you still gonna get be able to get your money and dip. <laughs> yeah. Then you're going to get your chip and you're going to get the dip anyway. All right, so income stretching offers 100% asset protection, and that's the total cost of the asset plus the full reimbursement of the insurance premium that you get. Okay, so let's talk about the simplicity of income stretching. Income stretching does not require much to get started at all. You need your phone, you need an app, and you need the investment money, the startup money, right? You need the money that you plan on stretching into new money, all right? So it's an advanced investment strategy. It's a five-step technique okay you can take the course on your phone you can stretch your income on your phone it's going to take about 10 minutes to work each week and there's no heavy research or technical analysis you don't need no phd you don't need no rocket scientist degree look you can figure this out i'm trying to tell you just keep watching the videos until it makes sense to you okay and then it's most effective i think it's the most one of the most effective uh investment strategies out here okay so income stretching requires the least amount of investment with some of the best returns all right, so you only need $20,000 to get started, okay? I teach it at the level of $20,000. So you need the $20,000 investment capital to get started. But just think about it. If you're in music, like I am, that's one sync placement. That ain't even no, like, major whopper of a sync placement. Look, we can get syncs out here as indie artists up to six figures, all right? So that is one little theme song on a TV show, one little uh, social media commercial, you can run up on $20,000, quick, fast, in a hurry, and then look, stretch it out and get what you want out of it, okay? So with that $20,000 investment, the way that I've structured the course, you can earn up to $1,000 per week or more with $20,000, all right? And you're going to be earning, ideally, you're going to be earning 5% return on investment weekly or 260% return on investment annually. All right. You can stretch up to $52,000 out of a $20,000 investment. So of course, if you get a lump sum greater than 20,000, you can double that. Like this is look, the math. I hope the math is mathing because you can just understand if you have $40,000, you can earn up to 2000 a week. How? Okay. But let me just say this. There is literally no house on the open market where you can buy it for $20,000 and immediately start charging a thousand per week for rent. Na look, na name a city. Okay. Cause I'll go and do that real estate. And look, I don't want to deal with tenants. I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, income stretching is the best money flip ever. And I also have, because I know some people may be thinking like, well, I don't got 20000 saved up, Bubba. What can you do for me? I have a custom savings plan for you to be able to reach the $20,000 and then start stretching it. Now, income stretching is safe and easy. When I think about the overall process of it, it's as easy as taking candy from a baby every week. <laughs> But it's as safe as getting a new piece of candy if the piece you took falls on the floor. All right, so I'm stretching for you. We got to find out. Look, just tell me in the comments. Put that in the comments. Do that for me. What could you do with an extra $1,000 per week if you had $20,000 to start investing today? If you had $20,000 to start stretching today? All right. You can income stretch your way through a recession. You can income stretch your way through a physical injury or medical emergency. Or look, you out of work because the workers comp you on long term leave because you got hurt on the job. You can income stretch your way through all of that. You can income stretch your way through a job layoff, especially if you got a lump sum as a severance pay. Right? If you've got a severance package, you got a lump sum payment. Look, this one for my artists, my music supervisors, look, any and everybody that get lump sum payments in music, you can income stretch your way through Hollywood strikes. These are the actors. Get, look, I think actors get paid lump sum for their projects that they're working on. Artists get paid lump sum through music licensing. Music supervisors get paid lump sum through their projects. They usually get paid per project. All right. So you can income stretch your way through these careers and create financial stability. You can income stretch your way through your monthly living expenses. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you can income stretch your way, of course, to early retirement, to superstar, look, pick your poison, get it how you live. Just know that income stretching creates financial stability in a world of uncertainty. So if you have any field or path, look, even with teachers, I'll say that teachers get, some teachers get paid 10 months out of the year. And then during the summer, they got to go bartend. Look, they got to do a little, they got to get a summer job. Can I tell you? And they don't get their payments spread out or they don't get that stretched for 12 months where they're getting paid less throughout the year, they have to go get a summer job. So you could stretch the money that you make during the year over the summer. 
and get a larger amount during the year. Just pick your poison. Any job that you have that doesn't pay like the standard nine to five where you're getting a monthly check or a, like some, some people get paid monthly. You know how good of a budgeter you need to be if you're getting paid monthly out here. And then even with sync payments, when those come in, sync is not like a nine. Look, I keep saying that sync is nothing like a nine to five. You don't know when the next check is coming in. So you got to be able to stretch until you get another placement, especially if you're trying to do music full time. So that's the presentation, guys. I hope you like what income stretching is all about. You can visit SyncSuperstar.com and start income stretching today. Um, the way that, of uh, course, layout is set up, I'll just speak really quickly into that. Um, it's a five-step process. There's the introduction, and then there's each step. There's look step-by-step -step tutorials. I'm talking live look. Income stretching live and in the flesh <laughs> in that class. And then once you're done with all of the curriculum, then you get access to the weekly Zoom calls. We do live Q&A. And each week, uh, I'm going to be showing you the account that I'm stretching. We are here engaged in these streets. We are stretching our fully funded wedding and honeymoon expenses. And so I'm going to be showing you weekly in my account what I plan to do for the next week. How I'm stretching my money. And then you can also, of course, come to the live Q&A weekly. If you have any questions about the course you're not understanding, you can come to the Q&A while you're doing your savings plan if you don't have the money to start stretching immediately and just see what I'm investing in. But keep in mind, you're, I'm just going to be presenting what I've stretched for the week. I'm going to show you how to look up companies. I'm going to show you how to look up assets that you can get into and start stretching on your own. You don't have to use what I'm using. That is just an, an option for you, but I'm not giving you investment advice. You have to understand that. I'm the teacher. I'm just showing you the strategy. You are the investor. You get out here. They're stretching like money grow on trees. Yeah. So it sinks into financial freedom. Uh, because it's a new product launch, um, visit Sync Superstar Academy. Use offer code invest uh, for a limited time only. Thank you. Well, on that. Look, if you're broke, don't talk to me. I said if you're broke, you can't talk to me.